Hello, what I'm going to show you today is how I'm going to plant out my red vein sorrel. Now I was also going to show you how to plant out your spinach, but um, we have, didn't have this problem last year, but we seem to have this problem this year. I have a rat living in my compost heap. I think there's a couple of them and I need to take down the compost heaps um, so that they bugger off and go somewhere else. Now I've got an alarm which is here which I'm not quite sure whether is working or not. They seem to be getting in the brassica cages eating through and just uh, it's very annoying but they have done this to my spinach one is not impressed and this is my tatsoi this is what they've done I had planted all but one of each which I was going to show you but as you can see down here there is nothing left they have and I had it netted and they didn't eat anything the only thing in this bed that they have not eaten thankfully is my kiwi which is here which is growing absolutely fabulously and this what I'm going to show you today is my red vein sorrel they tend not to like this so um, I'm not quite sure where else I'm going to grow there I do have some beans uh, some dwarf beans so I might end up putting those in there but I'm not going to get upset not after the blueberry incident anyway um, so what I'm going to show you today is how to plant out your red vein sorrel. I've done all of them here. I sowed this from seed. I think it was in about March time and it's been growing really, really well. So I'm just going to plant the last one out. So all I'm going to do is make sure there are no weeds where you're growing. If there are, just remove them. And then all you need to do is to just dig a hole and the hole needs to be the depth of the pot. If you're not sure whether you've dug a hole big enough, then just pop it in and just see if it fits. So that hole is just the right size. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of its pot. So just hold it firmly and just give the pot a bit of a squeeze and it should come out just just like that nice and easy as you can see there are an awful lot of roots down there so it is ready to go outside so all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in its hole just like that and then I'm just going to fill in around the plant fill in all those little gaps with the soil that I took out of the hole just firm it down like that and that one is all ready. I'll put the label back there so that obviously I remember what it is because it's sorrel and it's red and it's got veins on it. It's lovely. Sorrel is really nice. This should um, go down and then it should come back again next year. It does spread so um, just not, not freakishly but it does spread, so just be aware of that. It, it, you can't kind of keep it confined. So we will say goodbye to the tatsoi and we will say goodbye to the spinach. But at least we have got the red vein sorrel. So that's those. Now, once you've planted it out, if it is uh, very dry, then I would suggest you water it but we've had so much rain lately, I'm not complaining, that it doesn't actually need a water. So I did have a net over this, but they tend not to go for this, so I don't think I really need the net over it anymore. But if any of you have any idea how on earth I can get these blasted things out of my garden, then um, I would be very grateful. My son has suggested, um, laser guns um, but I said no 
but they sort of they seem to come out just as it starts to get uh, get dark they'll sort of come out from the compost heap and scuttle across the garden and then usually go up and down and I think they go into next doors as well but we live right next to a farm you know so it's kind of something that we have to um, get used to but the fact is I didn't have a problem with them last year um, they can't get into the chickens so that's one very good thing um, so I am going to take the compost heap down so if you suddenly hear a big girly scream you know that I've disturbed them <laughs> anyway well that's the red vein sorrel all in all very happy and it will grow beautifully and I'll just give it a little while to settle and then I will start picking it well I hope you are growing red vein sorrel this year and if you're not maybe give it a go next year well, I hope you found what I've shown you useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye -bye.